amazing screw-on heads. I have recently noticed a couple friends of mine on Tumblr doing something called the 30-Day Batman Challenge, where they answer a different Batman question once a day for 30 days. So I thought I'd uh, take care of that, but you know, instead of just doing it on Tumblr, I thought for fun, maybe I'll do it here on YouTube. And every day during the month of May, I think I will answer each one of these Batman questions and see if I can do it every day. I don't know. What the fuck? That's the challenge, I think. So, Lindsay, you will ask me these questions every day. And we're going to try and do these videos. All right, now, what is the first Batman question? Uh, what was the first Batman comic you read? Now, I looked it up online. I didn't feel like digging it up out of my box. But it is Detective Comics 468. And this issue is drawn by Marshall Rogers. It's uh, Batman confronting the calculator, which before he became the evil oracle, he had a costume and he had this these buttons on his chest and this thing on his head that shot whatever he typed out. He would like, I don't know, come up with some calculation on how to beat somebody and whatever he came up with would shoot out of his head and it would be weird. It was, I don't even understand it. I mean, sometimes like feet would come out and hit somebody or it would be a huge ice beam or a, a, a cage would shoot out. It, I, I do not understand how it was supposed to work. And uh, we'll see if Calculator goes from being uh, a guy with computer connections like uh, Oracle to this again, you know, post-52, because, hey, you know, everything old has to be new and cool, even if it wasn't at all, at, you know, stupid. Even if it was stupid as shit, we're going to see it again. So, woohoo! Uh, I loved this issue a lot as a kid. Uh, I read the hell out of it, and it was wonderful. I, it was Marshall Rogers doing the art, and he he did the big capes thing before Norm Bray Fogel and and uh, Tom McFarlane did, like a few years later. And what really struck me was at this time when I was a little little kid, my exposure to Batman was the Adam West series and the Super Friends show and the filmation Batman as well, and. If you watch those shows, you, you feel like you have kind of an idea of what Batman is, and then you saw this Batman is quite different. He's actually, he's actually more menacing, and what Robin wasn't in the issue at all. I mean, every time I'd seen him on screen, Robin was always right there next to him. Not even in the issue. Not even. I don't think he's mentioned at all. So it was quite different and really exciting, especially at times. Ah, uh, the way Marshalls drew him, he was almost creepy in some ways. And uh, I, I really enjoyed the hell of it. I loved it. And I don't think he had even the Batmobile. And the Justice League also appears in the issue as well. Uh, they get their asses handed to them by a calculator, which is hilarious. So, that is my first issue. I still actually own that copy. I love the hell out of it, and I will never give it up. Uh, so, there's your answer. This is day one.